Members of Parliament are confident the high attrition rate in the House will not significantly impact the work of the next Parliament. As many as 122 MPs out of the 275 are not returning. Outgoing MP from Priso and Chairman of Parliament's Defence and Interior Committee, Seti Champon, believes the new ones will live up to expectation. I entered Parliament with no public knowledge. I, I was a private practitioner. I was working in private practice. But today I'm speaking public conversation. I only encourage the new entrants and I know they are continuing members. The continuing members outnumber the new entrants. So certainly the bonding will help pass knowledge on to those who have just joined. As you know, Parliament is an institution of its own. You come from every sector or any sector into Parliament, you must submit yourself to learn the rules in Parliament and then you master it as you go. That's why we say we are masters of our own rules. You have to be here to practice, go through the processes and the procedure and master it and be a master of the rules. So this is the only way we can do it. I see an interesting time for this country. Ghana is with the entire beneficiary. There's going to be consensus building. This is the period that I know there will be a lot of consensus building. But yes, we've lost. Yeah, but you, you'll admit that that may end up impacting things negatively, don't you? As in losing, at my last count, 112 sitting MPs going into the next one. It, it depends on how leadership molds the house. Mind you, any commencement of a new parliament, we do what is called orientation. It is an institution that has its own way of inculcating into its members what its processes, what its culture is. And I definitely understand the temperature we are in, leadership vis-a-vis -vis the parliamentary service will tailor a proper program for the incoming members and the continuing members. And this will benefit Ghana eventually. The next parliament will have 137 NPP MPs and 137 NDC MPs with one independent MP. Outgoing MP for Kumbungu, Ras Mubarak, believes consensus building will be the order of the day in the next parliament. It's officially a hung parliament. It is officially a hung parliament, even though we are hoping that we would uh, clash the Tachiman South seats to give us a majority in parliament. But um, obviously, consensus would have to be built, as we have seen in this particular legislation. Obviously, um, uh, members of, of the House would have to reach across the aisle to each other and build consensus and build bridges. bridges on the most important things for, for, for the country. But I think it's, very, it's, very, it's going to be a very exciting parliament. But it also takes away the issue of uh, majority ha gets its way. Currently, with a hung parliament, there's nobody who is majority or minority. We are all you know, equal, 137, 137, as announced by the Electoral Commission. If, if at, the Formula MP sits with them, as in the NPP, at any given, they have that extra At any given time, you can't guarantee that all government ministers would be in the House to do government business. I mean, Parliament or leadership could decide to schedule a particular date for votes on key things on the floor. But you can't guarantee that somebody would not fall ill. You can't guarantee that a minister would not be stuck outside of the country, as in the case of the Honorable Akutose, you know, during COVID, who got who got stuck um, in the it US. It could happen to and both sides. And could, and could not fly back it, it could happen to both the sides. country. It could, it could happen to both sides. But the interesting thing is that you would going to have to need a very effective whip in the 8th Parliament to ensure that everybody is there to deliver the votes.